Alright, today's video we're talking about sampling, specifically sampling surveys. So there are four definitions right here. You may want to go ahead and pause the video so you can copy them down. Alright, a population is the entire group about which data is being collected. In general, you have to think of this as being a large number. The larger the number, the bigger the population. Samples are always part of a population, as you can see here, a small group. So its number is always going to be smaller. Then, there are five different types of sampling we're going to cover here. First off, we have cluster sampling. Cluster sampling is a sampling method using predetermined groups of a population. So, in here, key term here is group. Keep in mind, anytime it says group, cluster sample should be automatically coming to mind. And the next, it's talking about all members of the group will be included in the survey. So keep that in mind. And if it says all members of a group, we're talking cluster. Convenience. If you think about this, think about Walmart. The people standing in the front asking everybody as they go in. They are performing a convenience sampling. And it's always based on the ease of the researcher. It is not a good method. We very rarely are supposed to use it because it's not a very good method. All right, next to the definitions, kind of long. Take a minute, copy them down. Okay, there are three right here. We have simple random sample, we have stratified random sample, and systematic. Simple random sample are the ones we've been using since elementary school, where we have marbles in a jar and you got to pick a marble out. So we know how to do simple random. Stratified random is kind of like cluster and kind of like simple random put together. Stratified random sample is we are being grouped. We are grouping again by their characteristics. The main thing that differs this one between clustering is that we are choosing members of each group are being chosen. So that's important and keeping this one different from the other. Systematic. You think about this one when you have every so many, so many people. So we have each person is assigned a number. So that's pretty important here. And the members of the sample are chosen at set intervals. That is the part that makes this systematic. Next up, we have a couple examples. So take a second, read your example, and see if you can determine which type of cluster, which type of sample or survey we are talking about. So going through after you've read it, we've got five different types we're talking about here. Now, as it says, we are giving them a number and we are not doing grouping. So we know it is not cluster because it's not grouping. We know it is not stratified because it is not grouping. It also says that she's going to do it randomly. So that also tells us it is not systematic. So it does not say she's going to stand on a corner, so she is not doing a convenience sample. So she is going to be performing a simple random sample. Next example, take a second and read. Okay, the candidate wants to go through and create a cluster sample. So if you think about a cluster sample, he wants to go through, he wants to group them and then choose all members of a group. So for his method, so the best method he could do would be to first group people into his groups and then secondly choose groups until he has a thousand people would be the best method for him to use to do a cluster method for this sample let's see we also have a couple more but if you can do these you will be perfectly fine 